Inke dink, 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 inke Good morning. Good start Sunday morning to you. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is um, Basil, Buddha Cat Presents. And uh, Basil and I spent the weekend, uh, at least the first part of the weekend, out on the boat in uh, Candlewood Lake and uh, had a good time. And uh, Basil, uh, Basil's he's quite the boat aficionado. He, um, he's got his motorboat and... Um, Says, he says he may have to move to Sherman because um, Sherman apparently has the uh, highest rate of bone ownership, boat ownership uh, of any town in the area. Those bordering on Candlewood Lake or thereabouts. They include Bethel in the survey, although Bethel doesn't have any, any waterfront on Candlewood Lake. But um, working upwards from Bethel with a, around uh, one and a half uh, boats per person, uh, per, per hundred people. <laughs> yeah, about one and a half boats per hundred people. Uh, you get to Sherman, and Sherman has um, about a little over ten boats per hundred people. So they, they're they're number one on that list, and uh, that's where Basil says we may need to um, to set up. So at any rate, so um, Basil wants us to um, continue our discussion. Uh, so we're gonna. Reverse dial, and we're going to ring up. Uh, now we're going to use the Elsie phone this time. Thanks, Elsie. And uh, Bill Murray actually is um, in the audience still, and um, has this time is he's brought in Elsie, and he's kind of leaning back on Elsie. And uh, and uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, I know we're supposed to um, use the uh, the piano as you did in Ghostbusters, and. Uh, call out to the spirit world and give you credit and, and use your line they hate it when I do this so let's see um, are we going to get get Snoopy the anagram dog again is that, that who we're counting on oh you said we have to uh, reverse dial thank you Elsie Tweety, check and see if we've got the proper uh, the proper combination of zeros and ones, and if we've got that digital uh, digital connection lined up properly. Um, looks like we have. It's um, uh, Snoopy the anagram dog, and he says, uh, particularly on Sunday, you can take that dog and uh, anagram it, and. Uh, you get a little closer to the truth. Uh, he's um, Snoopy's got um, a fairly healthy ego. So we went through some other ones, uh, some some anagrams um, for uh, President Barack Hussein Obama. Snoopy's been helping us out with this, and uh, we started off with on Friday night with um, Bertha Boards Speak No American, and. Uh, Birchers, we're switching over to Birchers now, and again, the uh, the great the pappies and the pappies and great great grandpappies of uh, modern day um, modern day birthers. Um, uh, Birchers spout insane, make a bad. And remember, we also read uh, Lorax, um, the Lorax on uh, Friday evening. We're thinking about reading a distinct that I saw it on Mulberry Street, which is an um, interesting little uh, story by uh, our good friend uh, Dr. Seuss. We haven't been able to actually get through to Dr. Seuss is in another place, uh, and he's in the hereafter, and uh, we'll we'll get to him on a future show. But um, and of course with the Lorax, um, we dedicated it to uh, to China. May they learn in time. And apparently China is starting to realize that. Uh, not being able to breathe in their cities is, is, is a tough trade-off for, uh, for prosperity and, uh, 
and job growth and uh, and uh, who doesn't really matter if you have a job if, if you're poisoning yourself and your uh, your kids and uh, setting this setting your sights on poisoning the future generations. But anyway, so um, we also had Insane Birthers Academy Mob Speak You. Um, Snoopy's added Birther Mania sucks and beeps, and there's a couple extra. Uh, Tiles turned over at the end, which may in fact may in fact be exclamation points. I'm not sure. Um, oh, and uh, hold on, Snoopy. We're we're getting to, we're gonna hang with hang with us, Snoopy. And uh, our good friend Kevin Gallagher sent us along uh, Berserk pub cans pub cans shite. It looks like the word diamond. Diamonds, but we found out that you'll notice we've got the two A's that were turned over for the last two letters of diamonds, and uh, so the the jury's still out on whether whether Berkshire Pupkins Pupcans shite diamonds or shite AA, which is of course volcanic magma, and probably is a little rough on the way out of the uh, of the shiter. So, um, and of course at the bottom we have um, the letters which. We don't have enough of for uh, President Barack Hussein Obama. We had to borrow them from Basil Budakat Presents. Exclamation point. So at any rate, so... Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Snoopy, you gotta, you got to hold for a second because we need to um, do a little shout-out. Okay, hold on. Basil loves his pig. And uh, Trixie and Alice, um, who were regulars up in Basil's apartment when he lived on the farm in Richfield um, with Kristen. Uh, uh, Trixie and Alice, um, well, let's just say they're a bit bigger than this pig. And they didn't have purple dots on them. And speaking of purple, eight ball, now with 50% more ball. Not sure who exactly we're doing that commercial for. And uh, you still with us, uh, Snoopy? Snoopy the Anagram uh, Dog? Um, we stole a little Vaseline. Um, frequent visitor to the show, uh, Ted Nugent, had been using Vaseline to, uh, to make his moat around his uh, property a little bit more slippery and a little harder to uh, to get it to, for, for, for the government to get in and uh, and confiscate his uh, confiscate his 385,000 Uzis um, and uh, we use Vaseline here on the doorknob to the studio to keep Ted Nugent out so so that's good so we're protected um, is um, is Tootsie Roll even the um, grotesque Latin version still one of our sponsors? Should we um, should we put a plug in for them? Basil said it looks like a plug. Oh. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm I'm not. Basil's convinced that if um, that if I fawn on. Uh, Tootsie Roll, and this is the fun size, which I guess means to say that um, that back in the day when we used to get ones that were about five or six times this size at Halloween, that uh, apparently none of those were um, were any fun. They were um, large and grotesque, as opposed to um, small and grotesque. And uh, uh, you know, all right, I'll do it. No fruit. Okay. Maybe we'll get them back. And we still got a little bit of this um, watermelon left. Got um, watermelon. And uh, we're going to do a little shout out to 
the uh, Georgia watermelon growers. Now, back in the day, which means to say in the um, mid 1970s, around the bicentennial time, we had um, we had a, a certain member of the uh, of the cast teaching in uh, in Florida at a school for juvenile delinquents called the Lancaster Youth Development Center. And uh, the school was located in Trenton, Florida. It became Lancaster Corrections Institute, changed from um, a population of, of uh, kids aged 10 to 20, and uh, focused in on uh, adult uh, minor offenders, not minor in age, but... Um, ages 20 to 25, adult offenders, um, small-time criminals, and um, changed the, uh, the ownership of the, or the directorship of the school from Department of Youth Services to Department of Corrections, and gave everyone that, that taught there the opportunity to, uh, to take a similar job there, or a similar job in one of the other training schools, um, in the state of Florida, or risk layoff. And Basil's heard this story a few times, but um, the quick response from this member of the cast was, lay me off, I'm going back to Connecticut. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. So, I told you this to tell you that. I told you that to tell you this. Trenton, Florida which is about 30 miles west of Gainesville, which is a great, a nice little metropolitan city, university with, my gosh, at that time about 35,000 full-time students. I think nowadays it's about 50,000 full-time students. It's a got, a got a fair amount of culture, but if you were to step one step out of uh, Gainesville, you were in a country that was not rural, but, um, well, yeah, rural in the sense that it was farm country. Um, a lot of farmland, a lot of... Um, a lot of um, false uh, small farms, which have probably become large farms since then. And uh, the northern Floridian farmers and the southern Georgian farmers, hold on. Mmm. Georgia watermelon. And it's seedless. When are they going to come up with a with a waterless watermelon basil? I think that might be uh, a big seller. I mean, you could take it in your, uh, you take a pouch of it with you and you can uh, reconstitute it into um, into water, water containing watermelon. Just something to consider. We'll have to do a little, uh, a little focus marketing on that, a little test marketing, and see what, uh, see how that plays out. So, um, so the um, I told you that to tell you this. Um, so, Florida, the Floridian, Northern Floridian farmers, which is uh, at the, the top third of Florida, almost all the way down to uh, to Ocala, and the Southern Georgian farmers had this argument over who were the real crackers. Now, crackers is a term that comes from the slavery days in the United States, and it refers to whip crackers. And the argument didn't go like this. That's a disgusting term. You're the real crackers. It went actually like this. No, said the northern Floridian farmers to the southern Georgian farmers, we're the real crackers, and likewise the southern Georgian farmers to the uh, to the northern Floridian farmers. No, we're the real crackers. Now they had, they had not not even tried to grab onto the term um, rednecks because rednecks, as we know, are um, that's a, that's trademarked by Alabamans. So um, so the Floridians and the Georgian farmers. They weren't gonna. They weren't gonna go for that. They weren't gonna try for that. Um, but they had this. Uh, they had this cracker. Uh, this cracker term to uh, to dispute with each other. Okay. So um, 
Eat still that Snoopy? Okay. So, um, uh, let's see, we're, we're at, uh, Bertha Mania Sucks and Beeps. And, uh, Snoopy also came up with, um, Insane Birthers Make Up Bad Association, A-S-S-O-C, short for association. Insane Birthers Make Up Bad Association. Okay. Now, this one I don't quite understand. Asia birther made pub can, and in this case, pub can is with a K for can. Asia birther made pub can scones. Or Asia birther mad. Made or mad? I'm not sure which one. Pub can scones. Okay, now, um, oh, I see the letters are a bit separated. That, that explains that. Okay, um, also, um, Rabid Pub Cans Sheet on America. And that may be a reference to, um, to the sheets that, um, that, um, are making a comeback in the, um, in the, uh, in the birther crowd. Um, Okay. And again, uh, Snoopy, the anagram dog, or as he refers to himself on Sunday, anagram dog, this. Anagram dog. And see what you get. Um, he's taken uh, the, the uh, letters in President Barack Hussein Obama and uh, anagrammed them. And uh, another one. Birther Maniacs Bake P.O.S. And USA. Okay, um, <laughs> thank you, uh, Snoopy the Anagram Dog Anagrammed. <laughs> okay, um, did you want us to, um, Snoopy, I know we appreciate you, you, you allowing us to call you, but, uh, Basil, is there someone else, um, you want us to, um, to have a conversation with uh, Sunday? Uh, are we gonna, uh, Snoopy took a fence and hung up. Okay. Well. Okay. And again, thank you, Bill Murray. Oh! that before, uh, Bill Murray was uh, leisurely lying back, not in the hammock that he built for himself, but on uh, Elsie the Cow, and uh, we see Elsie's not there anymore. So, um, what do you... Okay, um, big phone, okay? Big guest, big phone, important guest. Thank you uh, for calling uh, Basil Buddha Cat Presents a blessed Sunday morning to you. It's Elsie. She says she's back in the hereafter. She made a quick, uh, a quick visit to the show. Um, had a chat with Bill Murray and uh, and uh, oh, a call from Texas. Area code two one zero seven one four three four six six. Anybody want to get that? And are they trying to sell us one of their products? Um, okay, yeah, so I'll see, uh, hold on, I'll see while we, uh, send that to voicemail. Okay, um, Elsie says she's a bit miffed. She's a bit perturbed because, um, it seems that, um, somebody else apparently called in using her ringtone. And, uh, Elsie, hold on a second, I'm not going to disconnect you, hopefully, but I'm just going to... Just going to remind the audience. Elsie said, that's right. Okay, um, do you have something else to chat about? Uh, uh, okay, Elsie says she, she's now living on, on her own palatial uh, estate in, in the Colorado section of um, 
Cloudland, as she calls it. But um, she um, used to live on uh, on a farm in in uh, Florida. Says that's back in the day when uh, when cows actually munched on grass in the field um, rather than uh, spend uh, spending virtually all of their time um, hung up in uh, hung up in factory uh, like conditions and. Uh, not milked by the gentle hands of human beings, but by the, um, the down, they're milked by uh, very uncomfortable and cold, she adds, cold machinery. Okay, so, um, so, yeah, that's, that's quite, quite a bit of imagery, Elsie. Um, but anyway, we've got, we're going to get back to, um, we've got uh, Snoopy, who's going to call back in in a moment, and uh, don't blame Snoopy if, um, if he calls back in on, on your ringtone, because, um, okay, Elsie says, uh, you better change that ringtone, because that's her ringtone. Okay, thanks for calling. Almost like we planned it that way. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to Basil Buddha Cat Presents. Yep. It's Snoopy again. And Snoopy says, um, remember, on Sunday morning, Snoopy would prefer Snoopy the anagram dog with dog anagrammed. Okay, now Snoopy also sent us along these, um, now where were we? Um, Bertha Maniacs Bake Peace O -S P O S and USA. Okay. And Snoopy's also taking the letters in President Barack Hussein Obama. And what make, made what looks like, although I see some, some blanks, some letters may be turned over. AK, which is either Alaska or for short for AK-47. Although Alaska actually, I believe, is the, uh, either the 49th or 50th state. I think Alaska is actually the 49th state. So, um... AK-47, you're off by two. Um, but anyway, AK birthers made no public sense. That's not, <laughs> that's not public, is it? Well, I guess, I guess they don't make that kind of sense either. But at least, um, at least they've got, um, apparently, hold on. Apparently got um, yeah. Basil was Basil was uh, in a running commentary with some folks about um, about this birther thing uh, last night on Patriot Update, and uh, actually we were talking about um, they they circulated a story that uh, that claimed that uh, President Obama is um, going to. Um, endorse Elizabeth Warren, Senator Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts in, um, in 2016 for president. And uh, there was a lot, of, um, a lot of clatter about that. And um, Basil says, <laughs> I hope it's true. I mean, obviously, Senator Warren is a lot closer to uh, President Obama's um, Positions on issues than Hillary Clinton has circulated stories recently about um, about uh, Senator Clinton being um, being in the process of, of cutting a deal with the uh, the neocons. And Basil likes to throw in Basil says not just neocons because of course neocons are conservatives who uh, abide by the belief that um, that the United States, in order to form a more uh, a more wealthy um, Weapons industry uh, should uh, should barge into uh, other nations and uh, cause mayhem, like Iraq, as an example. And uh, but there's also a group called uh, Basil calls them the neo libs, and uh, as opposed to um, neo conservatives, who um, talk about uh, social issues, well, they talk about it differently depending upon what group they're talking to. Um, 
they purport to be uh, conservative on social issues, whereas neo-libs are with the neocons on this nation-building notion, or notion-building nation. Um, but they, um, they have their, their uh, socially, uh, socially uh, liberal, and uh, that's what separates the two groups. But uh, Basil says, screw them both. Because they're both they both stink and they they, they both use um, those social issues as a as a means of uh, raising money from uh, from people to uh, fight for their point of view, which they really don't care about either the neocons or the neo libs. So we um so um, Snoopy the anagram dog or the anagram of dog Snoopy um, also has um. Birther ad makes no public sense. And uh, speaking of Birther ad, we're going to have to take a moment to um, to do a couple quick ads because cha ching, we got to pay the bills. Um, I'm going to put you on hold for a second, uh, Snoopy. Time permitting, we got we have got one more. You know what? Let's slip in Snoopy's last um, anagram. Birther's pick a bus. And there's a bunch of um, bunch of uh, blanks here. There's four of them. Birthers pick a bus and a nose, which brings up the interesting question: What Jimmy Durante? Where was he in this all this stuff? Okay, um, finish up with our commercials, and uh, that'll be it. Thanks for calling. What do we call him? Okay, we've got uh, just enough time left to. Um, Dermacil, now, with 25% more. We still haven't heard from the labs as to what 25% more of what, but in due time, perhaps we'll find out. Um, P-A-W, PAW, root beer, since 1919. Now for the older crowd, um, Schweppes. Schweppervescence since 1783. Okay, um, we also need to um, get in uh, eight ball now with 50% more ball. And uh, I hear Ted Nugent's uh, hand trying to turn the knob on the studio door, but we have taken some Vaseline, and uh, more than likely he'll find a, a, an alternative use for that Vaseline. Maybe he can find himself another, uh, hold on, yeah, find himself another 10-year-old girl like he did when he was, uh, when he was uh, riding uh, Cat Scratch Fever. Okay, so that's it. And uh, with that, up oh, Matrix. Not to be confused with Matrix Corporate Center. Or in Matrix Corporate Center, not to be confused with the Matrix. And uh, blessed Sunday morning, and uh, we'll see you next week. They say they'd rob your grandma blind on Wall Street, on Wall Street. Fritter her, her away her Medicare on Wall Street. And pharma oil and their pet fox don't care if she lives in a box. So long as they wear platinum jocks on Wall Street, on Wall Street. Meow.